My name is Ricky Pajot and I'm here on tour with Madonna. This is my fourth world tour with her. This is the Madame X tour and I'm playing piano and accordion in her show. I have a band called Parlor Social with my wife, Desi DeLauro. 1920s, 1930s, jazz music, but 21st century. If it feels good, let me hear you say, I'ma send it off in this place you see. They come from every corner just to fight it with me. In your head like a symphony, out on the floor, it's a jamboree. I'll be doing in London at the Pizza Express, actually performing on a Steinway there too. I'm going to be getting uh, my friends on tour to come and uh, play with me on stage. It's going to be a nice little moment. I've always loved, admired Steinway pianos, and uh, when we were rehearsing for this tour, Madonna and I, we were, you know, shopping, looking around for pianos. We had an opportunity to get a Steinway on the tour, so she had me go to Astoria at the Magna Factory and go pick up the Steinway for the tour. So we have a Model B that's been with us since the beginning. I'm a classically trained pianist, but I was never exposed to the contribution of black performers and black composers in the classical idiom. With names like uh, William Grant Steele, George Walker, Florence Price, Joseph Boulogne, all of these black classical composers who contributed to classical music but never got the recognition that they deserve. They created beautiful works that should be out there along with Mozart, Beethoven, program and all of that. The piece that I'm working on now is by William Grant Still. It's called The Deserted Plantation. During my visit in London, I had a chance to visit the uh, Royal Academy of Music, the British Library as well, for what I'm looking for. Beethoven's actual tuning fork that was given to George Bridge Tower in 1803 after their performance together. So that's the book, yes. It's a piece by Bridge Tower, commissioned to Her Royal Highness the Princess of Wales. Reading the lyrics is definitely a love piece, a love right. song uh -huh. for Beethoven's 250th. Uh -huh. I'd like right. to perform this, record it. While we celebrate Beethoven, we have to acknowledge George Bridge Tower's Absolutely. work and his, his influence on Beethoven as well. Oh, Samuel Coleridge Taylor. Yeah. His work is phenomenal, 1875 to 1912. So this is only the beginning. We're gonna have to do a lot of research. For me, being a Steinway artist is basically taking on the legacy and moving it forward. That's really important to me, taking on what has been done in the past for us and moving it and promoting it and highlighting it and honoring it. So very, very happy to be part of uh, the Steinway family. <laughs>